wheelchairs are always in high demand, and many times specialized versions are out of the financial reach for individuals and families. And so I am pleased that with the help of the Embassy of the Republic of China, Taiwan, the Special Envoy's Office, and Kerbalis, we were able to secure 150 such mob mobility aid. The list includes five adaptable pediatric wheelchairs, 10 personal energy transportation, the pet carts as we know them, 20 adaptable adult wheelchairs, 50 standard wheelchair children chairs, 55 adult folding wheelchairs, and 10 table recliners. These chairs were purchased uh, through an organization called Hope Haven International, which employs persons with disabilities to build and assembly them. They are valued at approximately 50,000 Belize dollars. I would like to thank the Ambassador David Wu of China Taiwan and his government for this generous donation and for the continued support of the activities undertaken by my office. The chairs will be distributed throughout the country and will no doubt be a welcome relief to persons without wheelchairs or those who are using chairs not suited to their specific conditions. The provisions of these chairs, however, is just a part of the battle for persons with disabilities. Barriers in transportation, building accessibility, education, health care, and income earning persists, as well as the ongoing sti stigma and discrimination. It is my hope that through education, advocacy, and public awareness, we will eventually break down those walls which have kept persons with disabilities on the fringe of our society. I also hope that in about a year, we will return to this very location for another big ceremony and celebration as we officially open the Inspiration Center.